Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Uh, this past weekend, I spent some time coating some skis out at the Dunedin Causeway in Dunedin, Florida uh, for the Florida Ski Riders Dunedin Invasion. And uh, this is a 2017 Yamaha EX Deluxe. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, uh, it is definitely clean. He cleaned it up, but it's got all these scratches on it. And what I generally recommend that you do is find an auto paint supply place and have them put their little digital scanner tool on it to figure out exactly what color it is and maybe, you know, color match to the ski. Because a lot of times, these are gel coat and the easiest way to fill in those spots is going to be with automotive uh, type touch up paint. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. I have the touch up paint somewhere. Here it is. And you can see it, it looks like it's a very good, very good match. We'll see when I pull it open, but uh, the first order of business is going to be to go ahead and clean out those areas with, uh, I'm gonna use my universal clean and prep to clean out these gashes before I apply the paint. What that's gonna do is remove any wax or gunk or soap buildup that might be inside there, and it's gonna uh, promote better bonding. So that's what's up. And uh, I got my little kit of gear out right now. So 2017 EX Deluxe Yamaha Wave Runner and we're about to get started. So I'm just putting a little bit of my universal clean and prep on this towel. For now, all we need is just a little bit of it to clean out these areas. walk through and find the gashes and just wipe them down with this. And it's going to clean out those areas so that so that we can uh, put some paint in there. Stuff smells awesome. All right, that's the first order of business. Uh, normally I would say wash your ski is the first order of business, but this one's already been washed. He washed the ski for me. Um, and so now I'm here to uh, just prep it, polish it, and coat it after we get done with the touch-up paint. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver, open up that touch-up paint. Actually, never mind. Um, I'm hoping you guys can see everything I'm looking at and you're not looking at the floor. However, it is what it is. All right, so here's the paint. Like I said, any automotive supply place that is reputable is gonna have that little digital paint reader thing that they can actually find you the right color with. You can see that it's highly metallic and looks great. So I'm literally going to just use what's on this lid to touch everything up. Go through my polisher bag. And in the bottom of this bag, I always keep, always keep uh, brushes. See this broken one? It's gonna work just fine. And you just basically you just want to make sure you get very little on at a time and go th go over it a couple times. When it's uh, deep like this, you want to kind of not blob it per se, but definitely put it in all the cracks and crevices and uh, make sure it's all even in there. Don't do it too heavily. You want that first layer to dry. And then you come back around and make sure it's good. Yeah. 
So if you notice, the first thing I'm doing is touching up these gouges. And the reason I'm doing that before we polish is so that I can polish it semi-smooth. It's not going to cut it all the way and make it completely flat, but it will cut the top layer off, making it look better. So that's why I'm doing the touch up first prior to polishing. I do the same the same exact treatment on cars and stuff. So generally um, I do this for the customer, go get the paint, but this guy was like, I, I'm gonna handle it. So I'm like, okay. Less stuff I gotta do. I like it. All right, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I dilute the Universal Clean and Prep. I have a fresh bottle here, and you'll see I have filled it to this line here. So these are the bottles with the blank labels I sell at DetailJuice.com with the sprayer. Um, I use this bottle a lot, and the sprayer I dropped it, and it's broken, but it works. Uh, anyway, so I fill it up to this line right here. You can see there, and then I pour in the. Universal Clean and Prep to the top. So that's roughly four ounces I put, or I'm sorry, that's about three ounces I put in there. So that is the dilution that I prefer to use when I'm prepping a ski. So you'll notice uh, that I I touched everything up. It does not match as well as I was hoping. Uh, but it's basically put paint in where there was no paint, so that's good. I won't be polishing any of this because it's that matte, uh, just regular black plastic trim. However, we are going, excuse me, we are going to coat everything. So I went ahead and taped up any of the trim. I didn't want the polish to hit. Uh, wouldn't be a big deal with Universal Clean and Prep to remove the polish residue anyway, but if you have tape on hand and it's relatively fast to do, I would skip worrying about um, getting the transfer on it and put the tape on. So I'm going to go ahead around and just give it a light mist all over this, well, there went that, all over the ski. And this is basically removing any wax or polymer or soap buildup or any of that from the ski and leaving behind a primer that will help uh, the Universal Coating to Universal Coating Pro, which is what I'm putting on this ski, to bond better. Uh, which definitely makes it last longer. So you literally just spray it on, wipe it in. Um, the universal coating can literally, ugh, literally go on everything. So the cool part about it is you can apply that stuff on obviously gel coat, paint, uh, and the normal stuff, but it also is fantastic for glass. It is fantastic for black plastic trim. Um, the universal coating is far superior to all of those over your power sports company, dealer, counter, silicone engine sprays. Uh, you can use the universal coating pro on all, or well, universal coating or universal coating pro uh, the pro version is just stronger, um, it's glossier, it's slicker, it does last longer. Uh, it's just a heavier duty product than the consumer grade one you can get on the site. So if you're a pro detailer and you want access to the pro versions, you have to buy one of my one series detail kits to get access. That's all that you need to do to get access to that the pro versions of Universal Coating and Ultra Endurance Max Coat. 
The kits have incredible value, plus they come with unique training videos just for the one system. Now that'll help you get not only the most out of the products, but it'll show you how to use them per my uh, system, if you will. My recommendations, the way that I recommend that you do it properly, since I did design all the products. So if you want the, the pro versions of the coatings, no problem. All you have to do is purchase one of those kits on uh, detailjuice.com and you can have access directly through me though you have to call me directly to get access to those uh to those kit to the uh, pro versions um, i mailed them out myself uh, i don't have my team do that i take care of all of that so that's something you can deal with me directly on um, my resellers do not carry that uh, the pro versions. Um, I am working on their service departments carrying my pro versions and installing the coatings and or having me do it in this area. I've had amazing results with the uh, pro versions and the consumer versions alike. Everybody and anybody that I've had use the products, definitely love them. I mean, Universal Coating alone is an amazing product because it's so versatile. It protects literally everything. The undercarriage on your car from rust, it's anti-corrosive. Um, it was designed to basically fend off salt in the marine environment. Uh, so it is a definitely a marine product, if you will. Uh, one that was designed to resist salt and corrosion. So just keep that in mind. But I'm very happy with it. In fact, the evolution of that product, product should be pretty amazing. Uh, it's one product. You know, I'm all about those versatile products. One product that does more than one thing but does it more than regular okay. I like them to do amazing things, which is what my Infinite Use Detail Juice and the new Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 products are all about. But, so that's it. I wiped the whole ski down. It is very grabby. Um, you can see the primer that's left behind. Uh, the cool part about that primer is that it, it stays there. You don't have to remove the primer. You can see this haze. I know you can see the haze because I can see the haze. I'm not a fan of all this haze, but it is what it is. So you can see the haze. That's the primer that's being left behind. Uh, so this is where we're at. So we touched everything up. I used the Universal Clean and Prep to prime everything but not necessarily for the primer. I used it to remove anything and everything off of the surface that's protective or you know, just not supposed to be there, which would prevent my polishing from uh, working properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for polishing, get this thing polished, and then we're gonna spray on some Universal Coating Pro with my little porter cable air injection set up. All right, so I'm polishing with the Universal All-in-One, like I said, but the I just wanted to say that yeah, you can you can absolutely polish over your decals. Like all of this can be polished over, no problem. So that's what I'm going to do now. That's all there is to it. Just polish it and then wipe it right away. Um, 
this polish wipes right off. It's pretty awesome. Really easy to use. That's what. That's the stuff we manufacture around here. It's easy to use. The stunning results. The gloss is brilliant out of this stuff. So that section's done. But as far as your factory decals, like the Yamaha decal, you literally can just polish right over that. This is the three and a half inch backing plate from Buff and Shine and the four inch orange uh, Buff and Shine pads I sell on detailjuice.com. This is the Harbor Freight Dual Action Polisher. It is hands down the best bang for the buck in polishing you can buy. You do not need an expensive machine. I've been doing this stuff for over 25 years and I use a $60 polisher, not a $500 one. Make my customers happy. And I make good money doing this. That's what it's about. So the universal all-in-one, the stuff I'm using, this polish, the beauty of it is that it will cut a little bit, it enhances tremendous gloss, I mean it polishes really well, um, but it also leaves behind our proprietary um, ceramic acrylics technology, which is leaving behind really good quality protection. So you get cut polish and protect out of the one product which is pretty significant um, it is this product is not the end-all be-all of paint correction um, or polishing if you will uh, it can be used as your final polish before you I mean if you want to add protective products to that you can it has the primer in it and it will accept universal coating right on top of it which is why I'm using that now uh, without having to use universal clean and prep to remove the polishing oils this already will leave behind the ceramic acrylics uh, raw materials, but it also will leave behind the primer where the universal coating will bond to it. And then if we were taking it a step further, which I generally don't do for skis, um, you can add the Ultra Endurance Max Coat right on top. Um, there's no real reason, because I know you guys are going to ask me, well, why don't you use the Ultra Endurance Max Coat uh, on skis? Well, there's really no right answer to that. Uh, I don't use it because I don't feel like uh, it's necessary if you maintain uh, your equipment. So if you care about it and you you know want to last long you're really going to keep it clean, keep it maintained and that kind of thing. So if that's the case you can get three plus years no problem uh, in most situations, obviously there's variables to everything and I'm not a big fan of giving longevity ratings, but I have without a doubt on multiple occasions with the Universal Coating Pro gotten three plus years out of boat applications uh, without question. Uh, skis as well. Um, I've got multiples that I maintain uh, with, you know, just trying different stuff out. And I've had incredible success with the, the One System products, which is why I basically rolled my semi-new ceramic acrylics lineup into the One System uh, because there's no need for both. And the One System really is the evolution of everything I've done uh, work-wise uh, for the past 10 years.
Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, cut the camera now and fast forward through uh, the rest of the polishing and I'll bring you back once I have the, uh, the air injection system uh, hooked up to spray down the Universal Coating Pro. Um, that's really the winner here anyway. All these products are fantastic, but the biggest benefit is the ceramic acrylics uh, hybrid protection that you get out of these products uh, and the Universal Coating Pro and Ultra Endurance Max Coat Pro. Like I said, I'm just gonna be applying the uh, Universal Coating Pro today. Uh, that's all I use on my ski and on my boat. You'll notice I've got my ski right there. I'm actually going to be taking it out on the water after I have I finished this. I've got a business meeting and then uh, I'm going to be putting it in. My business meeting is with another power sports company, Banshee Power Sports in Largo, Florida. Uh, the owner there, Robert, is a fantastic guy. He's actually taken on my uh, Marine Series products uh, and he's going to be doing an oil change on my ski prior to we prior to uh, putting it, putting it in the water. Can't even talk. All right, cool. Gonna get back to polishing. I'll bring you back before we spray down some good stuff. All right, I started the polishing with the uh, Universal All-in-One Correct and Protect, and I have my lovely assistant wiping everything off. This stuff works super nice. It's really a pleasure to deal with this polish, universal on one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the polishing is complete. And so now uh, this polishing job, just so that I'm clear, is not for perfection. It was to remove, um, you know, the light scratches and enhance the gloss prior to putting on a coating. A lot of people ask me, well, is your coating going to prevent the docks from scratching up my ski? The answer is no. I'm sorry, but no coating on the planet, planet will resist barnacle bashing, if you will. Um, those barnacles are just nasty. Uh, so that's what's up. Um, barnacles are going to scratch your ski no matter what. You need to do your own due diligence to basically not park it near the barnacles. That's what matters. Keeping those barnacles away from the ski. So you'll see it definitely put paint in there but it didn't match perfectly. That's kind of a bummer but now we have paint in those gashes and not open gashes. So it's looking really good, nice and glossy. Uh, I just pulled off all of the masking tape, so now I'm going to get this uh, air compressor set up for the, I feel like I'm going in circles, I'm going to get this air compressor straightened out so I can spray on the Universal Coating Pro. Um, now the Universal Coating situation is just like this. Um, chemically, when it cures, it's harder than 
your gel coat is going to be, it's harder than your clear coat on your car is going to be. So it is going to, in all of our testing, it is going to absolutely, without a doubt, keep this ski looking better longer. Uh, the hardness is going to prevent wash-induced marring. It's going to keep the contaminants from bonding to the surface. Uh, it is going to help to, the, the actual coating is going to help to, like I said, increase the surface tension so uh, contaminants can't bond. It's going to be a sacrificial layer above your actual finish that you're going to look at and deal with instead of the actual finish. So the benefit to it is your maintenance is going to be drastically decreased. All you've got to do is wash it, hit it with infinite use detail juice one occasionally, and you are good to go. Should be very hydro hydrophobic for the entire duration of the coating. Uh, like I said, the Universal Coating Pro is you know, around the three year mark for a coating. Uh, if I or any of my pro installers install it, um, mm -hmm. you have the option of a three year warranty with that product. Uh, just that one alone is pretty amazing. And you can apply it yourself. You don't have to spray it on like I'm about to. I find it easier and uh, I use far less product, but beyond that, it is even distribution of it everywhere. So you're not actually applying more product than you need to in some areas and not others, which is a huge benefit. Um, so I could yap all day, but Universal Coating Pro and even the, the regular Universal Coating you can get on detailjuice.com is fantastic. The ease of use to apply Mm -hmm. This protection, this awesome protection against the saltwater environment or any other environment is pretty amazing. Uh, the other benefit is it is a coating for every exterior surface. If it's a car, you can use it on paint, glass, trim, wheels, all of that. Uh, you can actually use it on your rubber. You can use it on your leather interior. You can use it on your plastic door panels. You can use universal coating on everything, including your engine bay. Um, this obviously is more of a complex situation to get to all that, um, but I am absolutely going to spray as much as I can uh, of the coating down into the engine bay. Fortunately, I have a very small sprayer, so I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and get this set up, and then we'll start spraying the Universal Coating Pro. All right, cool. So I got my little Harbor Freight mini sprayer. Now... I did forget the other fitting for this. Normally I like two gauges on my air, air injection uh, situation. One usually will go here, but you'll notice I've got two uh, male fittings on this instead of a female and a male. That's okay because I will be able to get decent pressure out of just the one regulator that's on the actual air compressor. So not using that today but I am going to use, you always want an inline filter, if not two. I mean, you could add one by the gun. I haven't had a huge problem, well, I haven't had any problem just using this one inline filter. You'll notice that it's, uh, it's got moisture in it. So it's pulling the moisture out of the tank and it's uh, coming out there. You don't want any rust water because these tanks are steel. They're, they might be coated inside, but they're still going to rust a little bit uh, and you don't want that. So anyway, I have put in some Universal Coating Pro into this uh, deal. Uh, I probably only put a half of an ounce in here. Uh, that should be plenty to get this ski coated. So this is it. Uh, I pulled the masking tape off uh, after I polished with the, the uh, Universal All-in-One Correct and Protect. And uh, Basically, I'm going to spray the Universal Coating Pro on all of this. The plastic rub rail, the plastic mirrors, the uh, plastic everything, the uh, Nano XL uh, material, the gel coat, um, all your black plastic trim, 
all your vinyl decals. Yes, you can use this stuff on your vinyl wrap, no problem. Um, I'm going to use it on the seat over there because it is a, it's a fantastic uh, leather and vinyl protectant. I'm going to use it on the uh, cushion here. I mean, I'm literally going to coat this whole thing and the engine bay with the same product. So here we go. I always start top to bottom. Um, you'll also notice that I am not using a respirator, not because I am an incredible daredevil, but because this stuff is VOC free. That is volatile organic compounds. That is the bad stuff that you do not want to be in, on or in your body. Um, I would absolutely recommend using a respirator basically just so that I'm politically correct. VOC free means it should not hurt you. Um, I do not believe that it will, but I'm not a doctor. So use a respirator because you should, not because I'm not, is the answer. Do this at your own risk. But like I said, VOC free is a good deal for me and you. So that is the entire outside, or I should say top of the ski. So now, get behind there, no problem. Get the sponsons all done. Want to go inside the engine bay. Pull those off and wipe it in. So it's all coated now, and I got a bunch left over. So we'll say this ski just took three quarters of an ounce. And then, what I always do, and yes, uh, the Pro comes in black bottles. I actually put the Pro in white bottle. Well, I just put it in this bottle that I carry, which is happens to be a white bottle, but I only carry Pro. So if, if I'm doing it for you, you're only going to get Pro regardless of the situation, because that's all that I carry. So I pour that back in there. I put the cap back on it, then I'm going to go ahead and spray the rest out. Just burn it up wherever you can do it. So you just leave that sitting there, five to ten minutes. I would leave it sitting for ten minutes, ten to fifteen minutes uh, if you're inside. Uh, and five to ten minutes if you're outside if you're in direct sunlight I would pretty much try to just buff it off as soon as you can um, I'm also going to go ahead and use some of this diluted universal clean and prep in the 
gun here to uh, clean it out. I like to shake it up in the cup. And then I just want to clean that universal coating out of the gun. And that should be it. So always clean your gun out with universal clean and prep. You could use acetone if you want, but I've had great luck with universal clean and prep. And that's it. So just wipe your gun down. And then that's pretty much it. So I'm going to give this about five more minutes to dry, and then I'll bring you back before we buff it off. All right, my friends. So this ski has been cleaned paint touch up, polished, and then coated. Now, it's been about 15 minutes. You can see that the coating is still on the ski. What I'm gonna go do now, I take a waffle weave towel, you can get these from detailjuice.com, and I knock off the bulk, is what I call it. So I wanna get the majority of the coating off so that it can start to set and then cure. This stuff will set in about 30 minutes so that you can, you know, you could take it through rain or whatever if you want in 30 minutes, as long as you're not rubbing on it to move uh, the actual ceramic acrylics stuff out of the way, you're good. So, knocking off the bulk and then I'll come back and hand buff it all and then full cure is in around 12 hours but it sets up really well in 30 minutes to an hour so no real I mean you obviously want to give it as much uh, cure time as you can before you use it at all but if you coat the ski and then you're in a pinch to go ahead and use it Go ahead and do it. Uh, my recommendation would be just to wipe it down with Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 afterwards, direct to uh, finish, DTF. <laughs> it's not what they meant in dirt Jersey Shore. Um, but anyway, once you wipe it all down, um, and then remove any excess and any streaks, then you've got about 12 hours of cure time uh, right after that. It's not gonna hurt anything if you need to use it pretty fast. Just hit it with Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, you're gonna be topping it off with an additional layer of the same stuff that's already on there anyway. So, um, if you noticed in the video earlier, I shot the engine bay, which everything in there is nice and coated. Uh, and on the engine, it is anti-corrosive. Anti um, it will help your, you know, if you get it on wire ends or bare pieces of wire or connectors, um, it's gonna help with uh, the current transfer, if you will. It is an electrical conductor. Well, and I don't know that it's a conductor, it just, uh, it's, it does what grease does. It keeps it from corroding. That's what I'm getting at. And uh, it makes sure you have a constant connection. So, he's got a Cooper anchor in here, which is pretty cool. I believe that's an Australian anchor. That you have to import. Everybody swears, anybody who's used them has sworn by them. I personally haven't used one. Anyway, I love the water. I love being on a ski. I love being on a boat. This is my thing for sure. So this is where we're at. Almost done. I've just got to do the hole now. The bottom of the hole, I should say. And then, 
should be good to go to do that final buff. And that's it. Turning out really nice. It's really not complicated work. I mean, I've literally been here for an hour. I got the whole ski done. Video shot. You know, shooting these videos takes lots of extra time. So, you guys could get one of these skis done in about an hour, all in. Uh, retail price for what I'm doing today is 300 bucks. And that's just basically, I threw in the touch up, it didn't take me a lot of extra time. And then that's the prep, which is the wash, uh, wipe down with universal clean and prep. Uh, after that, the one step polish with universal all in one from the one system. And then right after that, um, I sprayed on the coating, which you guys saw was nothing to it. And uh, now I'm going to give it a final wipe down and call it a day. Because what else would you call it? All right, Detail Juice Nation. That's my group on Facebook, by the way, if you want to be a part of that. Um, so the ski's all done. I already told you about the steps. You saw what was happening. The ski looks amazing. It's super slick. I sprayed it in the engine bay and just left it. And then I sprayed the Universal Coating Pro on every exterior surface. that had, well, anything. I actually sprayed it all up in the jet pump. I sprayed it everywhere. It is anti-corrosive for everything. And it really treats trim well. Makes, uh, brings them back when they're faded. Hydrates them really nice. Uh, it is a clear product, so it has no dye in it. So if it's extremely faded, it will darken it slightly, but it's not going to change the color. Uh, I also, he does have an issue with the seat. Looks like he's patched a hole. Uh, I went ahead and coated the entire seat with Universal Coating Pro as well. Um, I always give a one ounce bottle of Infinite Use Detail Juice One as a sample bottle to do their own maintenance if they want to. But that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It is a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what we got going on over at DetailJuice.com. And uh, if you want me to detail a auto boat, motorcycle, RV, ski, whatever you need, reach out to me and let me know. Um, I could feature your vehicle uh, on a YouTube video. But beyond that, um, I just want you guys to know that it, it's because of you guys, the people who support the channel and the, the, the people who really interact with what's going on over at Detail Juice that I continue to do it all. Uh, and I, I just want to thank you guys sincerely for your trust and support and for taking the time to listen to me babble about just random detailing shenanigans and or jet ski stuff because that is what I love. Anyway, this has been a 2017 Yamaha Wave Runner. It is the EX Deluxe. So thanks so much for watching. If you've got questions for me, reach out. Check me out on Instagram at Gary at Gary.dean.35. So that's G-A-R-R-Y dot D E A N dot 35. On Instagram and Facebook, you can find me under my own name. But ski looks great. It will for years to come. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.